Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be making a, well we're going to be trying to make um, a binary star system uh, with planets around it. Um, and a lot of people have been uh, uh, been trying to make a um, uh, binary star system with planets. Uh, there is actually, in real life, there is an actual binary star system called Alpha Centauri. Al Alpha Centauri. Um, it's actually a triple star system. It's, it composes of Alpha Centauri, Alpha Centauri B, uh, Proxima Centauri, uh, uh, Barnard Star, and some other star that I can't remember what it is. But, it's a five star system. Uh, it's definitely a five star system because I actually looked it up. Um, so, we are going to start off with, uh, with tiny stars first. Tiny stars first, please. Uh, binary. Also, don't forget to put on orbits and habitable zones. Don't forget to put them on. So we're going to stick these around three astronaut beings away from each other. Three astronaut units, please. Three. Thank you. So now. Oh, that is going to actually be this. Yes. Okay, uh. I don't know why that's happened. Are they off the same side? Are they actually off the same side? Let's make this one no. five. Okay. It's actually working out okay, that, that's good. That makes me a lot more comfortable. So first, what you want to do first is you want to... Uh, I know I'm not going to do like the dimming thing, because that's probably going to mess up everything. I might actually... I might... So, okay, it, it's, it's doing it again. There you go. So now we've got this. Again, add gas giants first. <laughs> because you don't want to fuck up everything. So, gas giant line. The frost line. The frost line is around... I don't know where the frost line is. I think it's around here. Because you've got the blue. That's the cold line. That's like the... Uh, no, that's the cold part of the habit zone. And then the frost line will be about here. Because you got you normally get an astro belt or something like like around here. So the frost line will be probably about here. Shit, I just put that on. Uh sorry, that is my friend messaging me over and over and over and over and over again. And I don't want him to. Alright. Okay. Let's do this again. It's there, let's not fuck up everything. My apologies. Uh, so now we have gas giant. And yes, you are going to get like, uh, sometimes you're going to get like permanent thing. It doesn't say orbital parent here, because you've got two stars. And the two stars are, you only get orbital, orbital parent when the stars are like over like 10 astronomical units away from each other. So, we are going to... Oh, uh, we are going to make this, I don't know, probably like 17 times the size of Earth. So let's leave that there. Okay. So, if you hear anything in the background, that is my brother playing a game. 
Uh, and I apologize for that. But anyway, uh, my brother is playing Wolf uh, Frame. Um, anyway, we got our gas giant now of M one 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 uh, star. Um, and now let's get another one. Oh my god! Hang on, guys. Hang on. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this is a slightly larger star, and you can tell if we put it on the chart, it is, uh, it is just slightly larger, it's ever so slightly larger. Uh, so now, this, this star, I'm going to leave it as, ooh, that is actually, that is just slightly, that is actually pretty cool. Uh, anyway, you know what? Let's actually dim it just for a bit. There you go, we dimmed it a little bit. So now, let's get Gas Giant here. Now we're going to stick this Gas Giant like a little bit further out. No, we're going we're gonna to stick it around here. Like just, um, like, uh, close, just, just, uh, a little bit closer than the frost line is. Uh, because I believe Jupiter is, I, uh, I know that Jupiter is, um, uh, is, uh, it's on the first line. Uh, so, it's on the first line. Uh, so now you, you got your other planet here. You actually got like two planets, like two stars. Uh, we're gonna make this 15 times the size of Earth. So again. Uh, here we go. So now, you can add in, I don't know, a rocket planet. So add in a rocket planet like right here. And that is a nice looking rocket planet. Well, not when it's open in a red dwarf star. But you can see here, it looks really nice. So let's just, uh, how big is this? One, I want to make it one Earth. One of sides. Uh, this might take a long time, guys, but I apologize for that. Uh, so now, um, make the rotational period. What is the axis? Oh, the axis even. The axis is pretty good, but still, it's pretty bad as well. Um, so yeah, this is actually how close a uh, planet can get to each other. Uh, oh, I don't want that in, in... And I don't know why this is uh, inclination. Uh, I cannot say that name anymore. But anyway, that doesn't matter. What matters is that you've now got like you got two stars all to each other, and they all have planets around each other. So now you're probably wondering how. Now you got like I don't know, uh, planet here, planet here, planet here, planet here. Now you're probably wondering, can you get moons around these planets? Uh the answer is, uh. Well, you can only get moons like around here, like the outer limbs are here. So if I get like a, I don't know, if I get like a really big rocket planet and I stick it around here, let's see how big it is. Let's leave it as like that. Don't know why, but let's just leave it as that. Uh, uh, you can put a moon around it. Oh, I, I thought it was on that axis. Um, and I'll be like, what? why is it on the axis? Anyway, uh, you're not talking about that, I apologize. So, so, hopefully this isn't gonna, so now, you, yes, you can put moons around planets, but I think this planet is eventually gonna get ripped out of the orbit, 
Um, because this gas giant is absolutely ginormous. It's huge. Uh, and if I go to chart again, uh, you can tell it's massive because obviously it's big. So now what, you can do whatever you want with it. To be honest, <laughs> uh, wow. So now you can do whatever you want. Uh, obviously, this is the largest star, so it's like the dominant star. Uh, and all of our planets are on uh, inclines. Inclination. Yeah, they're like um, inclinations. Inclination always. Uh, uh, um, ascend. Ascend. No, I can't say it. I apologise. I cannot say words that well. Uh, anyway. Um, so now you made your star. I got this what. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you can even, I don't know, throw a bloody comet in the mix. So, I don't know. You could. You could. Like, how far away are they from each other? 6.68 astronomical units. Are they? No, they're not. Oh, I'm six astronomical units away. Oh, I get it now. Uh, so three. What is? Oh. <laughs> right. Uh. So obviously this star's slightly bigger, so it's going to have a really, really big effect. Oh, well, not a massive effect, but it's going to disturb some of the planets. So this planet is now on a inclination orbit. The reason why it's on an inclination orbit is because I put the planet down as the star was moving. So, yeah. So now it's on an inclination orbit. That's fun. And it's off. Oh, I'll be like this. Uh, some of these planets, uh, I think this planet is on an inclination orbit. Just by a little bit. Yeah, 0 0.0001, I think. Uh, yeah, so it is increasing, like, the inclination is increasing. Uh, I don't know how I put that planet in there. I was just randomly putting planets in that, just, that planet just appeared out of nowhere. So, yeah, that, uh, that is, that's how you make a binary star. Now, if you want to make a triple star, that's going to be a lot harder. And now I've got, oh, humongous, uh, blue, um, uh, subgiant. It is a blue subgiant, because a, uh, a blue supergiant is like this size. This is a white main sequence star. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe, comment and like this video. If you would like more videos of how to do certain things in Universe Sandbox 2, or if you would like any help, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching. You have been listening to the Ardorous Moth in Universe Sandbox 2. Peace.